Hello everyone, welcome to WLC Kids Online. My name is Cindy, and guess what? It's summer! Oh, I've been waiting so long, I'm so excited. And this summer, we're gonna talk about relationships. Now, a relationship is the interaction between different people. Well, this summer, we're gonna talk about what it means to have a loving relationship, a positive relationship with God and with others. Today, specifically, we're going to talk about trust. Now, we know that God keeps his promises and that we can trust God to do what he says. In our Bible story today, which comes from the book of 1 Samuel, and that's in the Old Testament of our Bible, we're going to meet a woman named Hannah. Now, Hannah was a woman who really wanted to have a son, but it just wasn't happening for her. So she did a smart thing. She prayed to God. Well, she didn't just pray to God. She cried out to God for help. So let's watch our Bible story now, and we'll see how things turned out for her. Slapstick Theater, Hannah and God. This is Hannah. Hi. Hannah was married to a man named Elkanah. Hey but they were not able to have any children. This made Hannah sad. Aww. It's okay, come on. Every year, Hannah and Elkanah would go to the house of the Lord at Shiloh to pray to God and offer sacrifices. Hannah would cry out and pray to the Lord. She told God that if he gave her a son, she would give him back to him and that her son would serve God all the days of his life. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah was so upset that one of the priests, Eli, thought there was something off about her. Uh... But Hannah told him that she had been praying because she had a broken heart. <laughs> Eli told her, may the God of Israel grant the request you've made. Thank you. And then Hannah was no longer sad. In due time, Hannah became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Yeah! She named him Samuel, for she said, I asked the Lord for him. Hannah did as she said she would, and once Samuel was a little older, she took him to the temple. Hannah prayed and gave thanks to God, and Samuel grew up in the temple serving the Lord. God blessed Hannah with a son. This story about Hannah is a good example of what it means to place your trust in God. And we can place our trust in God as well. Now, we're gonna meet a man, well, he's not a man, he's a puppet. His name is Linguini. Now, Linguini is a chef and he works in a pizzeria. And we're gonna see how our friend Linguini and our friend Pastor Steve teaches us a little bit more about what it means to trust God and to trust others. Let's watch now. This is Linguini's Pizza of the Day with Pastor Steve. Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Linguini. Welcome to my pizzeria. And today we're learning about a very special word. And I will be making a very special pizza. Tell me, Pastor Steve, what is the word? I can be making a pizza out of anything. Wow, okay. Well, today we're gonna to be learning about the word trust. Ah, that's a good word. Let's make a trust pizza. Can you do that? Yes, I can. Trust me. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. And here we go. <laughs> you teach, I'm making the pizza. All right, so to trust someone means that you believe that they're going to do exactly what they say they're going to do. Uh, this is a very good. Tell me, do you trust me to make a delicious trust pizza? Sure I do. Then put this in the oven. Okay. Good. Are you sure this is going to turn out okay? Absolutely. All right. We'll try it out. Here we go. In the oven. 
Now we wait. So tell me more about the word trust. Sure. The important thing to remember about trust is who we put our trust in. Though what do you put your trust in? I put my trust in God because God will never let us down. You see, we can also put our trust in people, but sometimes people do let us down and sometimes things happen that we wish didn't happen. Yes, this is a very true. One time I burnt the trust pizza. Oh, It was boy. no good. But you know what? God will never let us down. We can put all of our trust in Him, and even when bad things happen, He will always work them out for good in the end. Ah, I hear a good sound, it's a ding! The pizza is done! Pizza's ready. Here we go. Check out the pizza. Bring it on up. Wow! Wow, Linguini! You did exactly what you said you were going to do. I told you, this is a trust pizza. It really is. And you know, we need to remember to always trust God. And eat lots of my pizzas. And eat lots of your pizzas. We love you guys, and we'll see you next time. Adios. See ya. Oh, man, that pizza looked really good. Would you like to have one of... Linguini's famous pizzas? I know I would. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's that? Well, look at here. We got delivered one of Linguini's pizzas. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. Ah, it's our word of the day, trust. Pastor Steve helped Linguini learn that we can trust God no matter what. God loves us and will always do what's best for us. We can trust God and the way to start is to pray. So let's pray right now. If you would fold your hands and bow your heads, let's pray to God. God, thank you for loving me and for making me. Help me remember that you always keep your promises. I want to trust you with my whole heart. I love you, amen. So this week, let's work on trusting God. Now, that's not always easy, but you can always go to God in prayer. Now, I want you to stand up, and we're gonna close our time together with a worship song, and we will see you next time. Have a great week. Bye. No, I won't be afraid.